I don't know how to use it today, but I will before long because I'm going to stick to one control pattern from now on. I love hydraulic fluid. John Deere would never. <laughs> I'll never get tired of saying that to you. Hey, this is Jake with the tractor yard, and today I'm out here with Brock from Rock Hill Farms YouTube, and I'm here to help him change his backhoe control pattern on his tractor from SAE to ISO. So why is it that you want to change your pattern? Well, what I've found is it's hard to be good with both patterns. And if you're not familiar, there are two commonly used control patterns for excavator and backhoe type machines. One's called SAE, the other's called ISO. There are other names for it. Some people call it John Deere versus CAT or backhoe versus excavator. Regardless, it's hard to be good with both patterns. I now have this excavator that runs one pattern and a backhoe that runs the other. And I want them to both be the same. And it'll be a lot easier to change this machine than to change that machine. Yeah, so quite a few mini excavators out there will have a switch to go from one pattern to the other. This one didn't come with that switch. So in this case, we are going to switch the backhoe over to match. And really, it's just going to be four hoses to match the exact pattern as this excavator. Yep, and if you're not familiar with all of this, your left and right controls on both levers do the same thing in both control patterns. The difference is on this backhoe pattern, forward and back is forward and back with your boom. On the excavator pattern, forward and back on this lever is up and down. And those two controls are just switched from which lever does which movement. And it just feels wrong to try to switch between them. So I think this is gonna be a pretty quick job. Let's jump right into it and get it done. Yep. So we could make this switch on either machine, but on here, all your hoses are right next to each other. So it should be easy and the hoses should reach. Yeah, and so what, to be clear, what the operations we're switching are forward and backward on this joystick and forward and backward on this joystick. So it's gonna be the exact direction, but we're gonna just swap the two hoses. So all we gotta do is take Looks like these six nuts off to get that panel removed and we should have access to all those hoses. That is metric. It is metric, but usually there's not many 13s on these tractors. We always joke around because you can pretty much totally rebuild one of these with a 10, a 12, a 14, a 17, a 19, and a 21. Did that just round off that quick? Just trying to. We won't show that. John Deere would never. <laughs> I'll never get tired of saying that to you. John Deere would never. Jeez, someone gave those the beans. Yeah. It's the same guy that... I thought it was on a stud. It's not. Same guy that puts the oil filters on, apparently. I don't know if it, he has a nickname, but if he did, it would be Torque Daddy. <laughs> I'd lobby for that. Nothing beats a good diagram to help really understand what's going on. So if you're not familiar, ISO and SAE are literally just the difference between these two operations. So the curl and swing are exactly the same, but the boom and the dipper operations are reversed. That's a thread smacker, right? <laughs> you know, that is an easy to work on setup where removing that one little guard gives you access to all of your hydraulics for the backhoe. So now, how do we determine which one of these valves? I, we trace the hoses, right? Tracing the hoses would be the probably the quickest way to do it. Manual. So like this hose right here goes to the boom swing. So it's not, it's not these two hoses because they are a side to side function. Yep. So it's gotta be this one that's probably gonna yeah, switch with this one, yeah. if I'm guessing. So this one right here goes to this cylinder This pair, that pair. 
Yeah, is that going to the one I'm pulling right now? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so common sense told me that if it was the right side of this spool, it'd be the right side of this one also. Yeah, you can just I, trace, trace your hoses and, and find out pretty quick. I'm more of a guesser. More of a guesser. <laughs> I mean, if it's wrong, you just swap them again. So, so what we're trying to do is swap this cylinder with this cylinder, essentially. And we just trace these hoses, and we know that this is running one of those cylinders and this is running the other. So we're just gonna swap the bottom two and the top two, and then we'll test and verify that we've got it right. <sighs> I love hydraulic fluid. So there's an important point to note that when you disconnect this, your cylinders are going to sag down. So next time, if you're doing this at home, before you start, set your boom flat on the ground with the bucket flat and you'll lose less fluid. Safety third. That's my joke. I have to be paid a royalty every time you use my joke. <laughs> Hopefully it's not much. Luckily there's plenty of slack to do this. You can change it all up if you want. You just want to be challenged. <laughs> well, if I was going to sell it, I would swap them just randomly. Good luck to you, buddy. Backhoe works. Just not like you think it will. What's, what's wrong? You don't know my proprietary control pattern that I just came up with? All right, now I think uh, you should test it out. All right. He said we are going to test it out. I guess he thinks I've got a mouse in my pocket. He has a mouse in his pocket. I don't know. What kind of crazy person runs backhoe controls off the tractor? Climb up in the seat. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know how to use it today, but I will before long because I'm going to stick to one control pattern from now on. Right. I mean, here. Clearly everything's working, the backhoe's bouncing because I didn't bother to put the outriggers down. But we're not going to actually dig. But definitively, this is the same control setup that we have over there. This sucker moves fast. It's either responsive or it's jerky. I don't know which. <laughs> Depends on what you're used to. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Get out in the yard, the tractor yard.